plant you see in front of you here, the subject of this video is the orange stringy looking plant and it's called Dodder. The plant has a bunch of other common names, witch's hair, all kinds of different names because it's a really wild plant. So this plant is a parasite and it gets all of its nutrition from other plants. So it looks all orange because it has no chlorophyll at all. So it doesn't photosynthesize. It gets all of its food from other plants. This particular one is in a genus called Cuscuta. I'm not sure which species it is. There's a couple different possibilities. I haven't quite figured that out yet. But this plant can parasitize many other different plants. And you can see here that it's wrapped around several different plants. And if we get close, you can see that it makes these structures that are called hostoria. So this plant, when it wraps itself around the other stems, it makes little suckers that actually suck into that other plant. And they go in and get the sugars out of the phloem, or the food conducting part, of the other plants. So daughter is an agricultural problem in some places. It can cover entire fields if it really gets going. It's a super interesting plant. It turns out that although you would think it would be all bad because it's parasitizing other plants. However, because it um, connects different plants through the hostoria, some recent studies have shown that plants can actually send signals to each other through the hostoria in the daughter plant. So maybe there's some benefit to the plants. For example, if one plant starts getting eaten by insects, then it can signal to other plants through the hostoria. It seems like a pretty high price to pay for advanced information on insects, but uh, maybe it's worth it. Enjoy this look at a very interesting native plant on the Kimber Heritage Trail, and, and check out our educational pages for more information.